Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Uh, got a new block programming app for you to take a look at. It's called Tickle. It's the one with the killer whale down the bottom right hand corner. Um, it's an interesting app. It's, I kind of think it's a cross between um, Game Press, Hopscotch, and maybe Scratch. It's kind of all those mixed in, but it's got some a really cool feature that I'll show you at the end. Um, if I actually go back to my projects, um, what I there's a couple of demos in there that they give really good demos. We're going to have a go at this one today, um, which is basically just a little bit of movement with a sound effect and a little thought bubble at the top. So we're going to create that as a simple way of having a look at this app and showing you some of the functionality of it as well. And then I'll show you the really cool feature at the end that I'm extra and super excited about. So let's have a look about what we create. We're gonna create a new project. I might as well show you now. Now when you choose a template for a new project, look at the things that are there. We can actually do some coding to control a whole lot of different things. And I'm really, really impressed and excited about testing out my block coding with my Sphero robot. But we'll get to that later. Let's just go with the Orca, which is where we can generate uh, games, um, some digital storytelling, some different things. So I'm just going to flick all this code over, a little bit like Hopscotch. Um, I'll leave the When the Start to Play there. Actually, I'll get rid of that as well. At the top here, you can see we've got the, the Killer Whale and we've got the background. Well, we'll just leave the background. But when I press the Killer Whale, I'm actually going to rubbish bin that. And then I'm going to add my own character at the top here. So it gives me some different options. Don't worry about the devices at the top. We'll talk about that in the next tutorial. Um, but I'm just going to bring in um, a couple of characters. So what I might bring in is this uh, Flat Batman. Great little character. And I'm actually going to add another character while I'm here. And that's just one of these pipes. And what I can actually do then is I can manipulate those on my top left hand corner screen. And I'm going to move my character. Now I'm going to click on my character, my Batman. And I'm going to drag over a few things. So first thing I'm going to do, let's get some basic movement happening here. And I'm going to get him to move, say, 250 steps. And then I'm going to press this little play button at the top here to see how far that is. A little bit too far. So I'm going to tap on my screen. I'm actually going to move uh, my thing over. Press test again. Yeah, that's pretty close. That'll do. So I want to give the impression that he's actually hitting um, the pipe there. Um, that pipe there you can probably see from the Flappy Bird game and some other things. Okay, so when he actually hits, what do we actually want to happen? Well, I'm going to explore the sound. See down the bottom here, we've got the sound blocks. And I'm going to say, okay, I want it to play a sound. I'll hit the drop down menu. And we can download something. I'm just going to hit, say, hit wall. Um, and then what I want actually to happen is there's a little bit of a wait period. So I'm actually going to go down here and go to uh, my controls. And I'm going to drag over the wait. And I'm going to change that to two seconds because I don't want that thought bubble coming up straight away. And then I want him to actually think something. So if we go to events, right up the top here in the looks category, we've got a little think bubble. And we can change that to, huh, um, we might go, uh, ouch. And there. And now it's time to test it to see how we go. We can test it in full screen if we want. So go to full screen. Yep. And a little thought bubble popping up. Fantastic. So that's just a really quick tutorial looking at those. We're going to get into, delve into some of these more complex uh, block pieces of code a little bit later on. A lot of the if statements and we'll get into some of the sensing and operators. Um, we'll get into that later, but I just wanted to show you that this is a brand new app, really impressed with it, and um, it's going to do some things that other coding apps can't do, like controlling some devices, which I'm really excited about. If I hit the top left-hand corner here and go back to my menu, or my projects, what I can do is actually uh, rename it. So you can see there that I can just press on that, I can rename that and actually say, uh, what am I going to rename that as, um, we'll say, Flying Batman. Oh. Press the ticky box and now we've got that kind of saved, I guess, in my, um, uh, in my projects, which is fantastic. Um, once again, go to new project. We're going to explore definitely some coding with our Sphero in the next tutorial to see how well the block programming 
command Sphero to do different things. I'm really super excited about this. Uh, but that was just a really quick introduction. Get you looking at Tickle um, as a coding block programming app um, and then have a look at what we can actually do with it. Paul Hamilton here, signing off.